I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to preach the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friend, I encourage you as I share a message with you and I pray for you today. Be in agreement, connect in faith, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello and welcome to this special video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry Studios. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here and I'm happy to be with you today. It is a brand new day. It's a day that God has given us. It is another day to live. It is another day to press on. If you're listening to this, God has given you a great gift and that is the gift of life, the gift to press on and to make your impact in this realm. My dear friend, I want to encourage you, keep going for Jesus and do not stop. That's why the title of my message today is Don't Give Up Before It's Over Because God is able to make a way. He is able to make a way. Even if all the odds are stacked against us, God is able to make a way. God can make a way in the wilderness and even when it seems like it's over, God can still make a way. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, is the way maker, the miracle worker, the wonder working God. And through Him, we are saved. Through Him, we receive everything that we receive. So don't give up, don't give in. If you're new to this channel and this is the first time you're watching one of our videos, I want to encourage you subscribe, click that bell icon, and you will be blessed daily. But in saying that, let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit. Say this out loud. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come in your glory, Lord. Fill this place. Fill that place where my dear friend is watching. Touch and bless my dear friend. And take my dear friend to a greater glory and a greater level. By your grace and by your mercy, for the glory of King Jesus. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, my dear friend, the Bible says in the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 13, it says I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. Meaning, that's like a blank check. All things. It doesn't say some things. It doesn't say only those things which are possible in the flesh, but it says all things. Meaning, even when it looks like you come to a situation where it's impossible in the flesh to make a way, and when I say in the flesh, I mean in this human nature to make a way um, or a plan so that you can go on. Jesus is able to make a way. We can make a way and we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. As I speak about this, I'm taken back to the story of Lazarus in the Gospels. When Lazarus died and he was in the tomb for four days, to a point where there was even an odor that began to come when they opened up the tomb. And that guaranteed and showed us that he was really dead. And that's a situation where you would think it's the end. But even at the end, Jesus was still able to make a way. In the natural, in this fleshly realm, you would think it's the end. You would think there's nothing else that can happen. There's nothing else that can be done. It's the end. But Jesus made a way. And he's able to make a way in your life. Too many people give up too quickly. They give up before the end has even come. Even when the end comes, don't give up. Just continue believing in Jesus. Believe in him. He is the way maker, the miracle worker, the wonder working God. The God who can make a way where there seems to be no way. He is the way, the truth and the life. No one can come to the Father except through Him and is able to make a way. And He is willing to make a way. If you are willing to trust Him, He is willing to help you. Today I want to encourage you, don't give up. Don't give in. In this season, you may feel tired. You may feel discouraged. It may look dark, it may look gloomy. It may look like the odds are stacked against you. But don't give up, don't give in. Keep on believing in Jesus. Jesus is able to make a way where there is no way. Even in times of conflict, Jesus is able to make a way. 
Even in times of hardship, Jesus is able to make a way. Even in times when we go through sickness or infirmity, Jesus is able to make a way. Even in times when we receive attacks, Jesus is able to make a way. Even in times where it was impossible for mankind to save themselves, Jesus made a way. And I want to tell you something, my dear friend. I want to prophesy and proclaim that Christ will make a way in your life. Trust Him. Believe in Him. Believe that He is the one that the Father sent. The first and the last, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. The one through whom all things were made. As the Gospel of John boldly declares in the Gospel of John chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And through Him all things were made that were made. And there is nothing that has been made or created that was made without Him. So through Him all things were made. And I want to tell you something. If there is someone who can help you in your life through what you're going through, it is Jesus. If there is someone who can make a way for you and show you a way out, it is Jesus. If there is someone who can save you, it is Jesus. If there is someone who can touch you and help you out of your toughest situation, it is Jesus. Now cry out to the Lord today as I pray for you and trust Him to make a way. Trust Him to do what only He can do and He will bless you. By the power of His Spirit, He will enable you divinely to do great things. The Bible shows us clearly that those who know their God shall be strong and do great exploits. Furthermore, the Bible says, Call unto me and I will show you great and mighty things which you know us not. Furthermore, the Bible says, By the Spirit we will put to death the misdeeds of the body. So even if it's something that you're struggling with that is discouraging you, I want to encourage you today that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you will put to death the misdeeds of the body. Furthermore, my dear friend, the Bible also says that if God be for us, who can be against us? If God is fighting for us, what challenge, what trial, what situation can be against us? It doesn't matter what may be happening. What matters is who you believe in, who you trust in, who you trust to make a way for you. And the one who can make a way is the way maker, and that is Jesus. Furthermore, the Bible says, Greater is he that is within us than he is in the world. As born-again believers, we should know that the Holy Spirit of God is within us. Our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, and he is within us. He's around us. He's upon us, enabling us to do divine things. So even in the times when we feel like giving up, He's able to give us power and enable us through Christ Jesus our Lord to do all things. Don't give up. Don't give in. Trust in God. Believe in Him until the end. For in due time, if you do not give up, you will reap a harvest. A hundredfold you will reap a harvest suddenly something will happen you will have a divine suddenly God will do what only he can do he will intervene in your life and something will break so that they can be breakthrough something will happen suddenly there will be a change for the better there will be a turnaround there will be a signal and a sign that God is intervening in your life. There will be a turnaround for the better. And God is able to make a way. Today I want to encourage you once again. Don't give up, but keep pushing. Because Jesus is with you. And he has never left you. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. But by the power of his Spirit, because... He is one with the Spirit. He is one with the Father. The triune being, our God, 
three in one, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Because they are one, it means Jesus is with you, in you and around you. And he can visit you even in this time. I have had encounters with the Lord that were so amazing. And I want to encourage you to follow in this example. Daily I pray that I will have fresh encounters. And we should not stop praying for those encounters to happen in our lives. Because they encourage us so much and just show us how great our God is. Once you see and witness His love, you can never go back. Because where do you go? Who will you run to who can help you like Jesus? The worst thing that you can do in time of trouble, in time of disaster, is to give up and leave the only one who can help you. That's the worst thing you can do. Because even if things don't go your way, even if things don't happen the way you want them to happen, He is able to comfort you, He's able to see you through. He's able to deliver you. And some things He allows us to go through so that the Father may be glorified. Some things He allows us to go through so that our lives may be preserved. Some things He allows us to go through so that we can be brought back to Him. When we don't listen to the voice of the Spirit and His leading and guidance, Sometimes we have to go through what I refer to as the bit and brittle experience. The Bible says, Do not be like the horse or the mule which are senseless and have no understanding, but must be controlled by bit and brittle. And God through His love disciplines us. He disciplines those He loves. And if you are willing and obedient, you will eat of the goodness of the land. You will taste and see that the Lord is good. You will taste of the blessing that makes rich and adds no sorrow. You will taste and see of the goodness of God in the land of the living. I encourage you, my dear friend, don't give up. Listen to the leading and the guidance of the Holy Spirit even in this time. And He will see you through. He will deliver you. He will fight for you. Don't look at the storm. Look at Jesus. Don't look at the trial. Look at Jesus. Don't look at the problem. Look at Jesus. Set your eyes upon the Lord, and He will see you through. In saying that, let's go into a time of prayer. Let us begin by praising God, and then I will pray for you that God will give you grace, that you will not give up. Praise Him and thank Him for all that He has done for you. Father, we thank You. It's another day, and You've given us another gift. Every day You give us a gift, and that is the gift of life, the gift to live on, the gift to continue pressing on, And we thank you and we praise you that to live is Christ, to die is gain. So regardless of what happens, we will keep on going and we will believe in you. We love you and we praise you. We thank you for your goodness. Daily, you supply for us. You never leave us helpless. You never leave us alone. You make a way where there is no way. You make a way where there seems to be no way. You make a way where we perceive that there is no way. We give you praise and thank you that even today you are making a way in my dear friend's life. You are encouraging and you are boosting my dear friend's faith even right now to believe and trust you to do what only you can do. So we praise you and we thank you that through the full and finished work of the cross you have begun to do what only you can do. And the work that you have started in my dear friend's life you shall be faithful to complete it. We give you praise and thank you for this. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, my dear friend, as we go into a time of prayer, I want to encourage you. Believe in God and trust Him and receive your miracle. In saying that, let us begin to pray. As we pray, I want to encourage you. Comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. Be in agreement. There is so much power in agreement. And even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. But in saying that, let us begin. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Wherever my dear friend is, wherever my dear friend feels discouraged, wherever my dear friend feels like giving up, wherever my dear friend feels like it's the end, Father, 
intervene divinely and do what only you can do. Touch, heal, bless, deliver, set free and intervene in my dear friend's life even today. By your grace and your mercy let my dear friend know that you are the God who speaks and you live. Give my dear friend the grace to trust you and not to give up, not to give in even in this time period. I ask this in Jesus name and I thank you that if we trust you, if we keep on seeking you, if we seek you and we keep on seeking we shall find. If we ask you and we keep on asking as your word says, we shall receive. If we knock and we keep on knocking, the door shall be opened unto us. And we give you praise for that. We give you praise that you said that because you gave us an indication that if we don't give up, we will receive. And therefore, even today give my dear friend the grace not to give up, but the grace to keep on going, to keep on pushing and never to lose the battle by giving up because you only lose when you give up. I thank you for this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you, my dear friend. God keep you. God make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Even in this season, may God do what only he can do. And may God bless you. From myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and the GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry Studio team, God bless you and goodbye. In saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video. If you are blessed by this video and you feel led to donate or to partner with us to support us in this work that we are doing, then you can do so through PayPal or Patreon. All the links are provided in the description. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.